welcome to the Empire Pool Wembley for Tom Arnold's presentation, Aladdin on Ice. In our special excerpt from producer Gerald Palmer's 29th Ice Show at Wembley, we follow Aladdin, Genie, his slave of the ring, and of course, the slave of the lamp. In Aladdin's adventurous rise from rank to riches, presented in the grand manner for which Gerald Palmer is famous in the world of ice spectacular. So here we are in the marketplace of old Pekin, where Aladdin has fallen in love with a princess. The beginning of the story of Aladdin and his wonderful lamp. I see the princess is made so shy as with Pico. Ah. Looks like a romance. Pico, my plans have succeeded. The emperor has agreed to your betrothal to his daughter, Princess Yasmin. But father, you know I do not love the princess. Neither does she love me. That has nothing to do with the matter. Marry the princess and I, <laughs> we, shall become the wealthiest family in China. But, Father... Not another word. I have to tell you that the Emperor of all China is on his way here to make an important announcement. Oh, the betrothal of his daughter, Princess Yasmin, to... <laughs> but let that remain a secret for the moment. See to it that you rapturously approve the choice of bridegroom who is to be the bridegroom, Pico? My father has just told me. It is as I feared. I am to be betrothed to the Princess Yasmin. Oh, what are we going to do, Pico? I don't know, so shy. There must be some way out. You are not in love. Need you ask? I love only one, and she with all my heart. To you. Is there anybody here with that name? <laughs> oh, well, would you like to see the Indian rope trick? <laughs> well, I need somebody to help me. Ah, oh, you'll do. Me. What is your name? Aladdin, sir. Aladdin. At last I have found him. <laughs> I am your uncle, Abnaza. 
he hasn't got an uncle. He has now. <laughs> Don't you remember me? No. What do you want to borrow? Borrow? That's my good woman. I am not a good woman. So? You should know. How very, very dare you. My name is Widow Twanky. Widow Twanky? Oh, I'm delighted to meet you. The pleasure is one-sided. What do you want? I want to take your son to a cave oh, well. to uh, collect a lamp. If you agree, I will make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. I don't trust you. You don't convince me. Perhaps this priceless jeweled necklace will oh. convince you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That convinces me. <laughs> now listen, Aladdin, you do what your uncle tells you. His Imperial and Exalted Majesty, the Emperor of China. Princess Yasmin. His Imperial Majesty announces 
the betrothal of his daughter, the Princess Yasmin, to Pico. To Pico? Oh, that cannot be. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? My name is Aladdin, and I love Princess Yasmin. Take him away. Let me go. Let me go. No, father, let him go. He means no harm. Silence, daughter. Oh, please, father. I will be responsible for Aladdin, your imperial majesty. Be it so. Jasmine, Pico, today you are betrothed. I will announce the wedding day later. Tomorrow, we journey to the Cave of a Thousand Jewels. Come, Twanky, we have business to discuss. <laughs> Princess, I ask you to forgive me. My love for you made me too bold. Do you love me, Aladdin? From the moment I saw you in the garden. But Pico... <laughs> no, Pico and I are not in love. He's in love with Sosha. Then... May I hope that maybe we one shall day... see. Tomorrow, I'm going on a journey with Abanaza. And when I return, he says I shall be very rich. Money isn't everything. It is when you haven't got any. <laughs> but I do love you, Yasmin. Very much. And I love you too, Aladdin. Forever, till the stars no longer shine, I will love you forever. Forever, till the very end of time, I will love you forever. Whatever lies in store, come sunshine, come shower. Only one thing is sure, every moment, every hour, I will love you. Always love you with a love that lasts forever. Forever, till the stars no longer shine, I will love you forever. Forever, till the very end of time, I will love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't go on. Curse you. Oh, 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 Uncle. Oh, I'm sorry, Aladdin. I forgot myself. But here we are. This is the entrance to the cave. I'm frightened, Uncle. I want to go back. Frightened? This is only the outside. Wait until you get inside. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing to be frightened of. Stand aside. Now, from the sky, let lightning flash. The hills resound with thunder. When I speak the magic words, the rock will rent asunder. Open. Oh, sesame. In you go, Aladdin. Quickly, quickly. I can't, Uncle. I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of. Just enter the cave. There, you will find a lamp. Bring the lamp to me, and your task is complete. I don't like the look of it in there. It is very dark. Here, Aladdin, take this. It is a magic ring and will protect you if you are in danger. Now, do as I say and go into the cave. But, Uncle... Get in. Get in. It is very dark down here, Uncle. Uh, uh, I can't find it. Don't waste time talking. Look for it. Uh, have you found it? Yes, Uncle. Well done, Aladdin. Well done. Now, hand it out to me. No, Uncle. I'm going to keep it. Now, give me the lamp, Aladdin. No, I don't trust you, Alanaza. Are you going to give me that lamp? No. Then, Aladdin, you perish. Oh. Shut up forever inside the cave. May curse this vile pour down upon your head, as in that cave you linger till you're dead. May scorpions and rats with fiendish lust tear at your throat and grind your bones to dust. May hairy spiders creep and crawl around until within their sticky web you're bound. And vampire bats suck at the blood they crave and leave you rotting in a living grave. <laughs> Shut. Oh, sesame. <laughs> Let me out. Please, Uncle, let me out. Oh, don't go away. You can have the lamp. Here it is. Please let me out. Oh, come back, Uncle. A fine uncle you turned out to be, leaving me in a place like this. What am I going to do? Help! Oh, help me, Uncle. Save me from this horrible monster. You can have the lamp. You can. Oh! But wait. What did Abanaza say about this ring? It would help me if I were in danger. Well, I'm certainly in danger now, but I don't see how this old ring can help me. Oh, who are you? I am the genie of the ring, thy servant now in everything. Speak, and whatever you may say for me to hear is to obey. Can you really help me? In most everything, O oh Master. Oh, can you get me out of this cave? In a truss, or even faster. And transport me back to Pekin. All that and more. Oh, thank you. But first, before you go, the wonders of this magic cave I'll show. Its priceless store of jewels, rich and rare, with diamonds, gems, and pearls beyond compare. A wonderland of glittering, twinkling light. This wealth and more is all for your delight. All this, O oh Master, will be as I say. In this strange cave where magic fountains play. <laughs>
what is going on here? And Frankie, where is my laundry? If your grand vizier would go away and leave me alone, your majesty, I could get on with it. Well, love, all the Besides, time. Besides, I've got star shortages. Aladdin hasn't returned yet. Just wait till I get my hands on that artful Lavanaza. You were inquiring after me, Widow Twanky? It's not you I want. It's Aladdin. Where is he? What have you done with him? Alas, he has gone. I knew he has gone. But when is he coming back? Never. Oh. That is where you are wrong. My son. Mother. Oh. <laughs> My so-called uncle left me in a cave to die. Oh, well. And but for this magic ring, he would have succeeded. Why, you black-hearted scoundrel! Oh, don't worry about him, Mother. Everything's going to be all right. Here. Why are you carrying that filthy old lamp? Well, give it to me. It wants a good clean. <laughs> oh. Who on earth are you? It is the slave of the lamp. What? is my master's wish. Well, now let me see. Bring me gifts for my mother and his imperial majesty. As you command, O oh master. Oh, look at all those lovely jumbo toothpicks. Ah, for me, just what I wanted. What is it? Just what I wanted. Oh, your celestial majesty, now that I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams, may I ask for the hand of Princess Yasmin in marriage? I love her dearly. The princess is betrothed to Pico. Be quiet. I am almost persuaded. But Pico would have provided my daughter with a palace. Uh, can we do something in the way of a palace? A palace to delight the eye, with turrets pointing to the sky, set in a garden filled with flowers, with crystal lakes and fairy bowers. That will I build for your princess to match her radiant loveliness. Do that, and I withhold my consent no longer. I will send the princess to you forthwith. Well, that's settled. Now, Back to work. Come on, MP. Come and have a tumble in me tumbler. <laughs> now that we have your father's consent, nothing can come between us. I love you. Just three small words, yet they hold the secret to all our happiness. Three small words hold the secret of happiness. The key to a world apart, a world filled with happiness. My dearest, now at last, I can ask you to marry me, to live in a world apart, a world made for love. One Thank you. 